Good day everyone! In this video lesson, we will discuss about zero and negative integral exponents. So our objective applies the laws of involving positive integral exponents to zero and negative integral exponents. Okay, but before we start, e recall muna natin yung laws of exponents. So, let A and B any real number and M and N be any positive integer. So, first is the product rule. So, ang sabi sa product rule, if we have A raised to M times A raised to N, so, ang gagawin nun is add natin yung exponent. So, the answer is A is equal to M plus N. The quotient rule, we have A raised to M Minor, uh, over A raised to N. So, kapag quotient rule naman, so, ang gagawin natin, copy the base and then subtract the exponent. Raising a power to a power rule. So, we have the quantity A raised to M raised to N is equal to A raised to M times N. So, imumultiply natin itong dalawa. Okay? Another is, raising a product to a power rule so, let's say we have the quantity of A times B raised to M. The answer is A raised to M, B raised to M. So, yung exponent natin dito, imumultiply natin dun sa exponent sa labas. So, raising, a, raising quotient to a power rule, meron tayong A or the quantity of A over B raised to M. So, the answer is A raised to M over B raised to M. So, ito yung uh, napag-aralan nyo during grade 7 at grade 8. Okay, so apply din natin yan. So, zero exponent, so pag sinabi natin zero exponent, A raised to zero is equal to 1. So, where A not equal to zero, so dapat yung A natin, hindi siya mag-equal sa zero. So, any number excluding zero, so kahit anong number, basta ni-raise mo sa zero, the answer is always 1. So, tatandaan natin, any number raised to 0, kahit gaano pa kalaki yan, kababa. Pag ni-raise natin sa 0, the answer is always 1. So, let's try this. So, we have 5 raised to 0. So, sabi nga sa definition natin, so any number raised to 0, the answer is 1. Another, we have the quantity of 1 third raised to 0. Still, the answer is 1. Okay? Another example, 15 a raised to 0. So, ito, yung 0 natin ay naka-raise lang kay A. So, ibig sabihin, hindi kasama si 15. So, dito, kung yan ay uh, yung 15A na sa loob ng parenthesis at nasa lo uh, tapos na-raise natin si 0, the answer is 1. Pero dito kasi, ang 0 natin ay naka-raise lang kay A. So, therefore, ito lang yung 1. And then, mumultiply pa natin kay 15. So, kaya... 15 times 1, so the answer is 15. Another example, 15 raised to 0 plus 100 raised to 0 plus 250 raised to 0. So, yung 50 raised to 0, that is 1. 100 raised to 0 is 1 then. 250 raised to 0 is 1. And then, add lang natin. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, negative exponent, so kung meron tayong a raised to negative n is equal to 1 over a raised to n, where a is not equal to 0 and n is a counting number. So, tatandaan natin kapag may nakita tayong negative na exponent, ang gagawin natin ay kunin natin, basta laging isipin nyo yung reciprocal, okay? Pag may nakita kayong negative exponent, gagawin natin ganun, oh, get the reciprocal. Alright? So, we have 3 raised to negative 2. So, kapag may 3 raised to negative 2, so, negative yung exponent natin. So, gagawin natin to. Okay, magiging 1 over 3 squared. So, ganun lang ang gagawin class. Kapag negative yung exponent, so, kunin lang yung reciprocal. So, magiging positive na siya. Okay? Pag binaba natin. And then, 3 squared, that is equal to 1 over 9. Kasi 3 times 3, that is 9. Another example, the quantity of 2 over 3 raised to negative 2. Okay, pwede natin i-apply dito yung uh, quotient rule, diba? Or pwede muna, since uh, negative yung ano natin, exponent, 
nakaray sa negative exponent, so kunin muna natin yung reciprocal. Okay, so ganito muna. 1 over the quantity of 2 third raised to 2. And then, saka natin isimplify. So, using the laws of exponent, so anong gagawin natin dyan? And that, that is, 2 squared, kasi that is 2 squared, right? So, 2 squared or 2 times 2, that is 4. Ito naman, 3 times 3, that is 9. So, we have 1 over 4 over 9. Pero hindi pa ito ang final answer. Bakit? Kasi, uh, yung 1, dinivide natin sa fraction. So, ang gagawin natin, para uh, makuha natin yung sagot, so, i-multiply natin by getting the reciprocal nito. Okay? re reciprocal natin, then proceed tayo kay multiplication. So, magiging 1, 1 times, so, babalik na rin mo itong nasa baba mo, sa din yung denominator mo, that is 9 over 4. So, the answer is 9 over 4. So, kasi 1 times 9, that is 9 over 4. Another example, we have 8 raised to negative 3 over 8 raised to negative 4. Okay, so, anong klaseng law of exponent to? So, this is quotient rule, right? So, kapag quotient rule, ang ginagawa natin, copy the base and subtract the exponent. Okay, copy the base, since parehas naman sila ng base. So, copy the base and subtract the exponent. So, negative 3 minus negative 4. So, ito ay magiging plus. Kasi negative times negative, that is positive. So, maging 8 raised to negative 3 plus 4. Okay, what is the answer? Negative 3 plus 4. The answer is 1. So, 8 raised to 1, the answer is 8. Okay, another example. We have 16 times 4 raised to negative 2. So, si 16 Wala tayong exponent dyan, pero kay 4 meron. O, so, anong gagawin? So, si 4 raised to negative 2, so kunin natin yung reciprocal. So, 16 times 1 over 4 squared. And then, uh, simplify natin yung 4 squared. So, that is 16 times 1 over, kasi four, yung 4 times 4, that is 16. So, ito pwede natin i-cancel to, di ba? Maka-cancel natin. So, the answer is 1. So, 1 na lang. Okay, so mas anuhin pa natin, explore pa natin, you know, apply pa natin yung zero and negative exponent. So, simplify the following and write your answer with positive exponents. Okay, first, we have x raised to negative 8 times x raised to 5. So, applying the product rule. So, ang gagawin natin, copy the base, okay, copy the base and add the exponent. So, add the exponent. Negative 8 plus 5, so the answer is negative 3. Since sabi daw, kailangan yung sagot natin, nakalagay as positive exponent, so since negative yung exponent natin, anong gagawin? So, yung reciprocal. So, that is 1 over x cubed. So, ganun lagi ang gagawin ha, kapag negative ang exponent. Another example, we have 4h raised to negative 2 times negative 2 h raised to negative 4. So, paano natin gagawin yan? Of course, using the product rule, kasi product rule to not, so, i-multiply natin syempre. So, 4 times negative 2, the answer is negative 8. And then, h, so, ka, since ka, parehas sila ng base, so, copy natin yung base, and then, add natin yung exponent. So, dito di ko na pinakita. So, alam naman natin na negative 2, Plus negative 4, the answer is negative 6. So again, kapag nagmumultiply tayo, okay, using the law of exponent, ina-add natin yung exponent nila. So negative 2 plus negative 4, kaya negative 6. So ito na ba yung final answer? Of course, hindi pa. Kasi naka-raise pa sa negative exponent yung, uh, yung base natin na h. So i-reciprocal natin yan. So negative 8 times 1 over h raised to 6. So the answer is negative 8 over h raised to 6. So, this will be the final answer. Okay? So, another example. We have 5x raised to 0 minus 10y raised to 0. So, again, ang 5 ay hindi kasama dun sa ni raised na 0. Kay x lang siya. Okay? 
So, dapat ang sagot natin dito na 1 ay dito lang, ito lang. Okay? And then, ito rin. So, therefore, the answer is 5 times 1. Bakit 1? Kasi x raised to 0, that is 1. 10 y raised to 0, that is 1. So, therefore, 5 times 1 is 5. Minus 10 times 1 is 10. So, 5 minus 10, the answer is negative 5. Okay? Sige, i-level up pa natin yung mga uh, examples natin. Another example, we have 2. The quantity of 2x squared, y raised to negative 3 raised to 4. Okay, applying the power of power rule. So, kung saan yung mga exponent dito, i-multiply natin dito kay 4. Okay, so la yung exponent nila dito, i-multiply natin kay 4. So, that is 2. Okay, raised to 4. Bakit 4 yan? Kasi di ba wala naman tayo nakikita exponent kay 2? So, automatic kapag wala nakikita, that is 1. So, 1 times 4 kaya 4. Then, x squared times 4. Okay, ayan yun. And then, y raised to negative 3. So, negative 3 times 4. And then, sim uh, simplify natin. So, 2 raised to 4 is 16. Bakit? 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. Apat na beses may multiply si 2. And then, x raised to 2 times 4, that is x raised to 8. And then, negative 3 times 4, that is negative 12. So, ito ay hindi pa final answer. Kapag ganito class, so, alam natin na may, uh, di ba magkasama sila. So, since ito ay merong negative na exponent, si y, ibababa lang natin. Okay? Ibababa lang natin ito. Okay? So, maging ang sagot natin ay 16x raised to 8 over y raised to 12. Basta isipin nyo lagi na kapag negative yung exponent, dapat nasa baba siya. Okay? Dapat nasa baba yan. Another example. Negative 7 or the quantity of negative 7, m raised to negative 2, n raised to negative 1, raised to negative 2. So, kagaya ng example natin kay letter D, so imumultiply natin lahat ng exponent natin dito kay negative 2. So, ano mangyari? Okay. So, ang gagawin class, since uh, negative pa rin yung exponent natin, so, apply na agad pala natin. No? Uh, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng ganun, imumultiply natin, or pwedeng uh, kunin muna natin yung reciprocal. Okay. So, kinuha natin yung reciprocal. So, ito na yun. So, binaba natin. And then, simplify natin na sa loob. Okay. Negative 7 squared. So, that is negative 7 times negative 7. Tama? So, that is 49. Tapos, m raised to negative 2. Negative 2 times 2. That is negative 4. n raised to negative 1. Negative 1 times 2. That is negative 2. Okay? So, since meron tayong negative sign dito, so, anong mangyayari ngayon? Okay, multiply of course, i-reciprocal natin. So, the answer will be 1 over 49 times 1 over m raised to 4 times 1 over n squared. So, tatandaan na kapag may negative exponent, kailangan natin i-reciprocal. Okay? And then, after that, so, simplify natin ito na sa, ano. So, that will become 1 over 49 over m raised to 4 n squared. So, since meron tayo, uh, anong tawag natin dito? Complex fraction, right? So, para makuha natin, kasi dinivide natin yung 1 sa fraction. So, ang gagawin, kagaya sa example na ginawa natin, proceed tayo kay multiplication, multiplication and then, i-reciprocal natin to So, the answer is, 1 times a m raised to 4 n squared over 49. Or, that is... What will be the answer? m raised to 4 n squared over 49. So, that will be the answer. More examples. Okay, so we have p raised to negative 9 over q raised to negative 6. So, since quotient rule to apply natin, ah, hindi natin pala maano, right? Why? Kasi magkaiba sila ng base. Okay, magkaiba sila ng base. Since uh, both numerator and denominator naka-raise sa negative exponent, so ang gawin natin, okay, uh, by the way class, ang shortcut pala, okay, ang shortcut kapag nakakita kayo ng ganito, kapag both numerator and denominator ay may negative exponent, ipagpalit nyo lang ng pwesto. 
Uh, that will be the shortcut. Okay, yan yung shortcut. Halimbawa ito, na nakita, nakita nyo, P raised to negative 9 over Q raised to negative 6. So, yung shortcut ay magiging, ay pagpalit nyo lang. So, that is Q raised to 6 over P raised to 9. So, that will be the answer. Okay. So, tandaan nyo ha, kapag naka-encounter kayo ng ganyang problem. Another example. So, kagaya nito. So, since uh, ang negative exponent natin ay nandito lang kay A, tapos ang B na ang negative to ay kay B, so, anong gagawin? So, apply natin yung tinuro kong shortcut sa inyo kanina. So, pagpalit lang natin to Pero, syempre, hindi, uh, yung 5 and 6, dyan pa rin sa pwesto nila. Kasi hindi naman kasama sila dun kay, uh, hindi naman ang 5 naka-raise kay negative 9. So, yung 5 over 6, nandyan pa rin sa pwesto nila. Yung A raised to negative 9, saka B raised to negative 2, yan ang magpapalit. Okay? So, the answer will be 5 over 6 or pi B squared over 6A raised to 5. So, it... O, oh, 6A raised to 5. So, dapat this is A raised to 9. Okay? So, ayusin lang natin. Okay. So, the answer is 5B squared over 6A raised to 9. So, ito, so gawin nyo lang yan ha. Uh, isa yan sa mga technique para mapabilis kayo sa pag-solve. Another example. We have C raised to negative 2, D, D raised to 4 over C raised to negative 5, D squared. Okay, so dito, since same sila ng base, so ang gagawin natin, subtract natin yung exponent. Tama? And then copy the base. Same din dito kay D. So the answer is C raised to negative 2 minus negative 5. Tapos yung D, copy D yung base na D. Tapos D raised to 4 minus 2. So the answer is, so negative 2 minus negative 5. So, magiging plus 2. Diba? Negative 2 plus 5, the answer is positive 3. And 4 minus 2, the answer is 2. So, C cubed, D squared, yung final answer natin. Okay, last example, we have 15 n raised to negative 4, P raised to 5. Over negative 3, n raised to 6, P raised to negative 7. So, it Itong 15 sa ka negative 3 class, pwede natin sila i-divide. Tama? So, magiging negative 5. So, 15 divide negative 3, kaya naging negative 5. And then, copy natin yung base na n kasi same naman sila. And then, subtract natin. Negative 4 minus 6, then copy yung base na p, 5 minus negative 7. And then, simplify natin to Okay? So, the answer will become negative 5 n negative 4 minus 6, that is negative 10. 5 minus negative 7, that is 12. Bakit? Maging plus na yan eh. So, the answer is negative 5, n raised to negative 10, p raised to 12. Since meron tayong negative dito na exponent, so ibababa lang natin to. Okay? So, the answer will be negative 5, p raised to 12 over n raised to 10. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, kapag may negative exponent, so dapat nasa baba siya. Okay? So, I hope may, natutun ay, may natutunan kayo ngayon. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.